Previously, we walked through logging in as an admin and creating an instructor account. The next step is to log in as the instructor to begin creating classes, adding students, and assigning work for the students to accomplish. I've already launched the GuideWorld VR software, and I'm sitting at the user login screen where it's waiting for me to enter in my credentials. Here, you will log in the username provided for you after you created your instructor. And as this is the first time you're logging in, you'll want to use the default password, which is the word password. After clicking login, you're prompted to change that password to something of your choosing. Here again, I am just using the 123ABC. We'll save that password, and you'll now be logged in as the instructor. You can see this as indicated in the upper right-hand corner. To begin, in the center of the screen, we see a message here that says, no classes have been created. Please add a class below. In the bottom left corner, I'll click on Add Class. You'll be asked to name your class now. I'll just name mine Welding. Once I've added that class, I now see it in the list above. And going from left to right, we have a few different options there. You have the option to archive the class for later use, a reset option to reset or delete data that you no longer want for that class or students. You have your class name with a status of active, a class average, which we'll see in effect later, the instructor listed, number of students, which we haven't added any yet, so it says zero, number of assignments, Again, we haven't given any assignments, so it still says zero here. Material savings, this will be a running total of the savings of using that simulator. Again, no welds created, so it still shows zero. The next button to the right here that says edit students, if we left click on that, this is where you'll go and add your students to your class. You'll see again a similar message, no students have been created for this class. Please add a student below. So I'm going to add a student, just S1. Now you'll put your whole student's name in, but I just want to make it easy for myself. So my username for this student is going to be S1. You'll click the back arrow in the bottom left. And we now see under number of students that one student has been created and added to this class. The next option to the right is going to be the edit class. If we left click on that, that brings us up to where we can assign work for the students to do. On the left hand side, you'll see the available assignments, which is an assortment of MIG welds, T joint, lap joints, and butt joints, varying difficulties, and varying gauges of steel. If I scroll down, we'll begin to see the stick welds as well. Still the same T joints, lap joints, and butt joints, varying difficulties of novice, intermediate, and advanced, and then varying gauges of steel thickness. To select one, highlight the one you want, in which case here I have the top one highlighted in yellow, and click the plus symbol on the right. What you'll notice is now under class assignments, that weld is available for my student to accomplish. If you wanted to create a custom weld in the center of the screen, you have the option to manipulate each of these fields. So you can choose the weld type of MIG or stick, the varying joint types. We also have varying steel types, mild steel, stainless steel, and aluminum varying thickness of steel, and you can adjust your work angle, travel angle, nozzle to plate distance, your speed, whether you want the students to perform push or pull, and the difficulty level. Now I skipped over material cost just to begin with, but let's go back to that. Here you can also assign a material cost for your weld. 
So for this particular weld in your area, if it costs $2 to accomplish this weld, you would set that material cost to $2. So each time a student practices this weld or takes a test with this weld, it keeps a running tally of how much material savings you may have. Once you're satisfied with the weld that you've created in the center here, you'll click Save WPS at the bottom center, and it asks you, would you like to name and save this weld? It will be added to the list of available assignments on the left-hand side. I'll name this weld Test Weld. I'll click Save. On the left-hand side, I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. We'll see that this test weld is available. And if I wanted to add this to my students' workload, I would click the plus there, and it moves over to the right-hand side. If you don't want an assignment given to the students, you simply click the minus button, and it takes that assignment away. Once you are satisfied with the welds that you're having your student accomplish, you'll click the back arrow button in the bottom left corner. Now we can see we've created a class, we've added a student, we've added an assignment for the student to do. So the next thing to do is to log out as my instructor user and then log in as the student so that I may perform welds in practice or test mode. I'll click the exit button in the bottom left and it takes us back out to the login screen. 